Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo. Well, there's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight could end at any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country, put it on his back, and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. Aldo is seven years his senior. McGregor is two inches taller. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. And now to get us started, Ladies here and gentlemen, is Bruce this fight Buck. is rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Well, Jose Aldo has wanted to get his hands on Conor McGregor for more than five years. They will finally rematch here tonight. Round one is underway. McGregor, Aldo, act two, your thoughts? I mean, it can't live up to that. The moment of the first fight, when Aldo went down, McGregor jumped on the fence, you understood that this was just something different. That would never happen again in mixed martial arts. How do they top it? They're about to attempt that right now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this challenge. Good punch. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. 
His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by McGregor. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Aldo gets caught with that punch. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Whoa! That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay stand and show and talk to your toughness. Head kick. Aldo goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. One minute to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Blocks the shot. Oh, head kick. That would land a clean. That was a jab. Left hook, right hand. Oh, straight right. Round two winding down. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Two now is upon us. Conor McGregor and Jose Alba. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Way to hide that leg kick. connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. 38 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alda. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Conor McGregor. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there. Oh! Big diving punch lands up top. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or his mama's house on Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. That Ooh, knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. Relax, relax. 
Under a minute to go here in our second round. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, there's a big overhand. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Aldo. 20 seconds to go round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Body shot after body shot. He keeps landing these strikes. Really zapping the gas tank of his opponent. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Ooh! Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Got the single collar tie. Let me show you the head strikes. Effective strike there by Albert. Straight right is there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Game of inches right there. there boy. Wow. It was a good night. Try to establish that jab. Conor McGregor gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. 70 total strikes have landed for Jose Alba. And landing with 38% accuracy there tonight against Conor McGregor. Right hand punch from the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Nice punch there by Alda. That knee might have landed there. Aldo's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. What a punch. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. And he counters with a left hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right hand and a left. Final seconds of this fight. That was not good. Nice strike. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for decision. All three judges scored this contest 9-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Jose Aldo Jr. Well, he did not get
get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that fight to the best.